Hey guys, Zach here, Small Town Bourbon. <clears throat> Tonight, before we get started, I just wanted to say that I, I hit 100 subscribers and I just wanted to thank you guys so much. Um, I've really enjoyed doing this. I'm just amazed that uh, there's 100 people out there that enjoy watching me do it. I appreciate it a lot. I've got some cool things I'm working on, so y'all stay tuned. I'm thinking about dropping like some podcast episodes with stuff I wanted to do more like some history of bourbon, history of distilleries, some things like that, that I felt like would be better in a podcast form. So y'all stay tuned. I'm going to try to get that worked out. And now that there's a hundred of y'all, y'all leave some ideas for me. What would y'all like to see? I definitely want to try to work some of that in if y'all have some good ideas. But this has been a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much. And here we go. Tonight we are on... Rounds 12 and 13 of my 32 bourbons that cost under $65. This series by itself has been a lot of fun. It's taught me a lot about what I like in bourbon, which is kind of one of the points why I wanted to do this, to learn what my favorites are. I would definitely recommend y'all doing this or something like this. It's been a lot of fun. So tonight, I got my beautiful wife, Jessica, to blind these for me. She labeled these B1, B2. I'm going to start over here with two. It's a good one. I get baking spice. A little bit of vanilla. It's a nice nose. Let's try it out. I enjoy that one. I'm going to give it one more. That one's really good. Not super sweet, but a lot of that baking spice, some cinnamon. I got get a really nice like oak flavor in the back. I really enjoy that one a lot. All right, let's see what one has. Hmm. One is not smelling as good. I think it's like a floral smell I'm getting. But it's almost giving me like a cleaning product smell, like, I don't know, some kind of cleaning spray. Let's try it out. All right. Tastes better than it smelled to me. Yeah, it's not bad. I get some sugary sweetness up front. I can still kind of taste that like florally smell. I can still kind of taste it in there. But it also has a little bit of like baking spice in the back. Yeah, it almost reminds me of this place, this like salon I used to go when I was a kid where my mom took me to get my hair cut. Kind of smells like hairspray or something. All right, this one's going to be pretty straightforward for me tonight. Two is going to be my winner. Um, I like the flavors of one when I was sipping it. The nose wasn't great, and I like the flavors of two a lot better. They, um, I, I just really enjoyed two. That spice, it, it's just a really a great sip. Let's see who they are. Okay. Well, boy, we might have killed this bottle. Yep. <laughs> I'm about to pick up another one of this. 
So one, the loser is 1792. As you can see, I do enjoy it. I don't know why it was giving me that weird smell tonight. Maybe it was because it was the last little bit of the bottle, but uh, I also enjoy the one that beat it. I'm, I'm not surprised that it beat it at all. 1792 got beat by the Cooper's Craft 100 proof. So a little more proof on there. I think 1792 is 90 or oh, 93. So a little more proof on there. It's got the, you know, they, they chisel the barrels to give the whiskey more contact with the barrel in there. That's kind of their whole thing. But I really enjoy the flavors that come off of it. A pretty inexpensive bottle too. I think it's like 30 bucks, 100 proof, really good buy. I enjoy it a lot. All right, let's move on to the second round. Hmm. All right, guys, this is going to be round 13, 32 bourbons that cost under $65. Here we go. My beautiful wife, Jessica, poured these for me, so I don't know which one is which. She labeled them A1, A2. I'm going to start over here with one. Oh, man, that's a nice nose. Very sweet. I'm getting like an apple or a pear, maybe some kind of fruit note. I enjoy that a lot. A little bit of spice in there too. Let's try it. That is no, that is just delicious. Yeah, I think it's an apple. I can taste it on the front of my tongue. You get that sweetness, that apple taste on the front. Some spice in the back. It's very creamy. Feels good in my mouth. I enjoy that one a lot. Hope two is coming in pretty strong. Let's see what two has. Okay, getting a little more caramel on two. Not crazy caramel, it's not knocking me down. I get a little bit of spice in there too. Let's try it out. It's good. It is that caramel. On the, that's the first thing you taste on the front of your tongue. Kind of a, maybe a little toffee-ish, something like that. It does have some good spice. That's a really nice glass. I am going to go with one tonight. I just enjoy its flavor profile a lot better. That that fruity sweetness seems like it, it was a little creamier in my mouth. Stuck around a little longer. So one is going to be the winner tonight. Let's find out who it is. Okay, so the loser two, 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 is going to be Ancient Ancient Age. Like I said, not a bad sip at all. It comes out of Buffalo Trace. It does come off very caramelly to me. So it's not my favorite drink because I just don't love that caramelly sweetness. But it is really good. I think this big jug of it's like 27 bucks. It is getting kind of hard to find the, the double ancient age, but if you do find it, I'd recommend it. It is a pretty good bottle. And our winner tonight is going to be ooh, another one that's almost gone, Woodford Reserve. So definitely cost a little more than the ancient ancient age, but I, I do really enjoy it. You can see 
I've used this one a good bit. It, it really was giving me some good flavor tonight. I haven't really been getting that fruit off of it before that, that I can think of, but I really enjoyed it tonight. So we got Woodford Reserve and Cooper's Craft moving on. I think we're only going to have one more of these maybe in this first round. I think on my next video, I'm going to try to do three so we can be done with this first round because I feel like it's taking forever. But I have enjoyed it a lot, and I hope you guys have too. Thank you so much for 100 subscribers. That's awesome, guys. Y'all stay tuned. Got some cool stuff coming. Small Town Bourbon. See you next time.